Hi, I just came back from the post office and had a package which had a familiar address but I couldn't quite place what it was. I thought, what have I ordered from America lately? It's come all sealed up and looking at now, I went back and did a search on my, um, my emails which would come up with my PayPal and see what the address was and it's um, Post Falls, Idaho. ID, I didn't know what that was. What comes from Idaho? Knife wires. Buck knives. So buck knives have sent me something and it is not just an empty box. I'd be very disappointed if it's an empty box with a <laughs> with a letter in it. If you don't know the story, I broke the tip off my buck compadre camp knife. First day I got it. Um, it seemed like a really good knife. I dropped it um, from about a foot in the air uh, and it landed on the tip on a log and the tip just folded and snapped off. So. Um, I sent away to him, and I know I'm not. Um, if I'm not outraged about it because um, I dropped it, and it's not like um, uh, I had a couple of funny comments. Just check back on the original video. I had a couple of funny comments. One really intense dude was like, um, "You expect Buck to make good on your stupidity?" Like real super serious. Um, and yeah, no, I didn't, um, but they have this great warranty they're boasting about on their site, so I thought I'll send the knife back at my own expense, and the worst thing they do is not send it back, and I've lost 10 bucks, and that's that. Um, so it's been a while, and I was actually wondering what was going on with it, um, and yeah, then here it is today. Um, the steel is 5160 spring, um, I was a little bit surprised that it broke so easily from like a flex, from like a, a bend and snap. Um, so I would have I suspect that it might have been some sort of maybe a crack or something that I'd put in there from battening with it or something like that. I did some pretty light battening with it. Anyway, watch that original video. You see what I did with it. I know I'm at least 75% 75, 75 at fault because I dropped the knife. And it's like you shouldn't drop things. This is a basic, if you care about something, you shouldn't drop it. And I dropped it. So, hey. Um, but it looks like Buck has sent me something. If it's the, if they might have just sent me the knife back saying, sorry dude, you dropped the knife. I'm not fixing it. But... I doubt it. I think um, they definitely, um, there's a fair monologue on their page about um, them sticking by their products. So let's see what they've done. Let's scroll down to the box. I'm really happy that Customs haven't opened it as well. Got this warning, warning. If this seal is broken, check contents before acceptance. So <laughs> they've obviously never dealt with our Customs, which until very recently would just confiscate anything because they felt like it. A little bit better now. Good times are are here with the knife laws relaxing a little bit in terms of imports but anyway so let's cut the warning tape my uh, Victorinox Forester let's paper. Whoop, it is a knife looks very new but then again mind you too and some documentation let's, uh, let's see what we've got righto now, when I make warranty claims, which I have a couple of times, I never mention, hey, I've got a YouTube channel and I'll say bad things about you on YouTube. Um, so I never do that because I want the experience to be as anyone would get experience. So this piece of paper here is just pretty much um, what I said. Um, a dropped knife. Um, uh, Broken tip, knife was dropped, knives will break when they are dropped and hit a hard surface. They reshaped the blade, no defect found. Um, my Mine was, um, uh, my, and my statement pretty much says, drop it into a hard log, <laughs> and there you go. So they said, hey, the knife will break if you drop it, which, wow, we're just saying really, <laughs> me and Buck just have this real scientific dialogue. So they've fixed my tip. So they have, goodness me, that is my knife. It's got my scuffs, and look at that. That is a really, really nice looking tip repair. Look at that, it's probably lost about maybe a, a quarter of an inch or something. Real nice swoop up. And you know what? It's because it's been broken and now fixed, it's like a bit of a thicker tip, which is probably better for a dingus like me. What a, what a happy result. They thought, hey, if we send this guy a new one again, He's such a mong, he's just gonna drop it again and ruin his new tip. So let's just let's let's make this a um let's make this a training let's put the training wheels back on this night <laughs> for this guy and let's make give him a nice thick tip to muck around with, which you know what? I really appreciate.
that looks cool. It is a, you know, it's probably barely any shorter than it was. Let's get something in comparison. One minute there. One minute. Barely any shorter than it was. Uh, I reckon this compared pretty well to the Genesis. I reckon it was a similar, similar length knife. Yeah, so it's a bit longer. I think it was about a five inch blade originally. So yeah, it's probably lost about maybe a half to a quarter of an inch. But that's cool. That is, because you know what I was thinking, oh, if I get another one, am I going to be scared to, to use it? Because am I going to be scared of that delicate tip? So it works for Buck and it works for me. It would have taken him a little while to, to grind it down, but it's a very clean, a very clean grind job as well. So very, very sharp edge there. Let's, um, oh yeah, that's nice and sharp. That's plenty sharp. And I have what I really, you know, did initially like a lot as a as a companion knife in my hands again. So, very very happy. Buck truly did make make it right. That's the song from South Park, and Buck certainly did. Very very cool. Buck companion. Um, oh yeah, real warranty stories. Um, Boca also with the Vox Roll. Boca refunded that as well. Well, Aussie Knives actually stuck their necks out and refunded me first because they said, well, obviously that shouldn't happen. Um, again, I didn't sh show anyone that video because I'm not for trying to get a special, um, I don't want a special treatment. I, not that you get special treatment from a 600 subscriber YouTube channel, but I don't want to seem like a super squeaky wheel because yeah, it, if I was, say if I got this knife or any knife and was cutting this paper and the blade exploded, then I'd probably be a bit pissed because uh, that's definitely something you should be able to do with a knife. But when it's a batoning accident or a dropping accident, it's at least half my fault. And of course, I, and people seem to think that I don't think that. Like you, you get these incendiary comments, which shouldn't bother me, but they kind of did. Because I like to think my demeanor in these videos that I make is pretty much like, uh, oh well, like I am not an amazing woodsman. I'm just not. It's it's just me getting my head around gear. That's what this channel is. So, um, but yeah, so with the, even that Boker, I got it, that Boker one, check the video comments. Just recently, some dude was like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, I know, and I, you, you're slandering a whole line of knives with this one knife. I'm like, no, I'm absolutely not. I'm showing you what my one knife did. In fact, I think I even said I might have got a lemon knife or a, a tempered, poorly tempered or a crack knife. Um, anyway, so, but Boker, yes, Boker did eventually refund the supplier as well, I think. And it's all sort of come full circle. Um, that was a fault in the knife. So that was, um, that, that knife was just badly done. There you go. Probably won't go back to Voxrolled. Probably don't need another Voxrolled to, to I, I, instead I think I've mentioned in my, um, my other video, I ended up with a um, LT Wright Patriot. So I thought, you know what, I won't get another rolled, but I will get another D2 fixed blade knife. So I got the Patriot instead, which although different, is very, very nice. So, I am super happy with this. That is, I would rather have had this than a brand new knife because a brand new knife is, you know, I probably would have ended up doing the same thing to it, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, so very, very cool. Buck definitely comes through with their warranty. And this is from Australia. I paid postage one way, they paid, it, they paid postage back, sent it in a box, rather I sent it in a postage pack. So. No, that, that's that's good customer service, and you really really uh, earned a few plus you yeah, earned plus five respect from me today, Buck. So thank you very much. I'll uh, see you in the next video, dudes. Okay, and just a side note, thirty percent off on Buck's store on that letter as well. So cool. <laughs> Overall, yeah, as I said, very very happy with the Buck warranty experience. See you, dudes.